Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that hits home for a lot of people. Why you might still be struggling financially and more importantly, how you can break free. Stick around for practical tips and real life examples to help you turn things around. Let's get started. First, let's understand the problem. Did you know that as of 2023, around 9.2% of the world's population lives in extreme poverty? That's less than $1.90 a day. But poverty isn't just about income. It's also about access to education, healthcare, and opportunities. Many of us work hard but still find it challenging to make ends meet. Why is that? Let's break down some key reasons. Reason number one, lack of financial education. Schools often don't teach us about money management, budgeting, or investing. Without this knowledge, it's easy to fall into debt and hard to save for the future. Majority of people do not understand finance or know how to invest properly. For example, understanding compound interest can transform your savings. If you start investing $100 a month at an 8% annual return, in 30 years, you'll have over $120,000. That's the magic of compound interest. Next up, high expenses and lifestyle inflation. As we earn more, we tend to spend more, a phenomenon known as lifestyle inflation. We buy bigger houses, nicer cars, and more gadgets, but this can trap us in a cycle of spending, in fact getting more into debt. To combat this, create a budget. Track your income and expenses, and identify areas where you can cut back. Living below your means is key to building wealth, ensuring you buy what you need, not what you want. Debt is another big factor. Credit cards, student loans, and other debts can quickly pile up, leading to high interest payments and financial stress. One effective strategy is the debt snowball method. List your debts from smallest to largest, focus on paying off the smallest one first, and then move to the next. This builds momentum and can help you clear your debts faster. Be consistent in paying off the debts. Another reason you're still struggling financially could be a lack of investment. Saving money is great, but investing it can grow your wealth significantly over time. For instance, if you kept $10,000 in a savings account with 1% interest, after 20 years, you'd have about $12,200. But if you invested that same amount in the stock market with an average return of 7%, you'd have over $38,000. Finally, mindset and habits play a huge role. If you believe you'll always be poor, it's hard to break free from that cycle. Adopting a growth mindset and developing good financial habits can set you on the path to success. Educate yourself, read books, watch videos, and learn from those who have achieved financial success. Consistently practicing good habits like saving, budgeting, and investing will pay off in the long run. So, why are you still a poor person? It might be due to a lack of financial education, high expenses, debt, lack of investment, or even your mindset. But remember, it's never too late to change. Start small, take control of your finances, and believe in your ability to improve your situation. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends. Let's help each other achieve financial freedom. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.